Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia and we have a new member to the family. I have quite the surprise for you. I found this in a, <coughs> a thrift store for five dollars. So I had to get her. She's just beautiful. I thought I'm going to make you a star. Are you ready for the surprise? Here it comes. Isn't that special? Anyway, this little fairy is going to join us for the reading. And if she doesn't cause it any conflict, then she'll remain a part of our furniture. I shuffled till something flew out and ready to cut the cards. This, by the way, is your afternoon delight. We have justice and this usually has to do with karma. Uh, if it's a court case, it's something that's going in your favor. Uh, karmic, it's going in your favor. The card that flew out for your crowning energy is the Wheel of Fortune. So many of us are now into our new cycle, into a new cycle, because we have many different cycles that we go through. Some that I just picture you know a bunch of wheels turning different projects different cycles different things that are going on in our life this has to do with money uh, so this new cycle is going to be bringing you abundance um worthy of mention is mercury retrograde that we're going through right now uh, we've just entered i'm sure that'll come up in the reading king of fire there is someone watching you or you watching someone. Um, this person, if you're wondering, uh, their heart does beat for you. They have a great deal of passion. And if they are not enlightened, they are going through awakening process. And it looks like they're going through an awakening process because of being with the Wheel of Fortune. Or perhaps you're going through an awakening process regarding this person, uh, certain perceptions that you had um you're waking up to i didn't test the microphone before i started up this video i do hope it's working i'd hate to do a whole reading and find out you couldn't hear a darn thing transformation yeah wheel of fortune enlightenment or awakening and now transformation and this transformation bears down into the number four so you're doing some solid foundation building here. I'm going to slide it this way. Eight of water, walking away. This transformation meant that you had to walk away from something, someone, energies, a place, a job. Ace of air is about a new beginning. Um, cutting to the truth resolving things so that you can put them behind you and not carry on carry the baggage it's lovely that these two go together because it is an energy of being a negative energy being cut out something that you invested time in and it's almost like when you're building something and you want it to build to build beautifully solidly Sometimes you have to reflect on, speaking of Mercury retrograde, here we come. You have to reflect on things to make sure that nothing is, uh, that you're not putting a jello brick on top of cement that's not going to hold that foundation or hold that structure. So it is like a contemplation or a revisiting of this process your transformation you're going through, what you're building, what you walked away from, and a reassessment of a situation while you transform, while you're building this solid foundation. You are moving forward. This person, by the way, has a great deal of passion for you. If this, if you're a female, this person is loyal his heart is loyal to you if you're a male this can be a female as well who feels loyal dedicated devoted to you 
or how you might feel towards someone. The call. Now, the universe is calling you to make a judgment on something. To get in touch with spirit again. Daily. There is going to be a judgment call. And it looks like... something from the past my goodness people this looks like a transformation of the past for some of you who have been around for a while we've talked about changing the past that ability to manifest changing the past queen of water this psychic connection as well psychic spiritual connection boy this is turning into a spiritual reading uh but one maybe of uh like we're not seeing anything related to work here yet but this is a spiritual connection with a person maybe someone you walked away from or you walked away from a situation to move towards this person There is a definite connection. This is also the card of the healer. Six of air. Perhaps you moved. You relocated. But it is about moving to calmer waters. Coming to a more peaceful place within yourself. King of air. So perhaps... You're looking at things and making decisions uh, head over heart. What I like about the sandwiching of this heart of the reading, I really like looking at that center. There's something always significant there. We've got this emotional card and this non-emotional card. And the calmer water. So you're finding a beautiful balance here. Uh, you may be dealing with a lawyer here because here we've got... Uh, the king of air who, who can be a lawyer or a professional person. We've got judgment and at the bottom of the deck we had justice. So, um, yeah, if it's a court case, you've got a really sharp lawyer. Or a judge that can read between the lines. Now, There's a lot to do with karma. It's almost like, uh, guess what? Your karmic debts have been paid in full. You're transforming. Page of water. It could be uh, someone coming in with an offer of love. This is a psychic, this card. When you see the queen and the page together like this, uh, you could be discovering some things that are coming out in the open that you had an intuition about. Uh, this can be emotional. This can be forgiving. This can be apologies. Um, hmm. There's a lot of spiritual stuff going on here. Yeah, we we could call this reading, you know, for space cadets. Like, we are doing some serious spiritual movement here. Eight of fire is, you're on a guardian's back. You're being carried out of a maze. Um... You may be fanning those flames of passion, but this is also about messages, quick messages, messages about um, creativity, passion. Oh, here's your Ten of Cups. Wow. This is definitely a love reading. Ten of Cups, this is your emotional fulfillment, happiness, 
this is just unbelievably beautiful now we've got the ten of cups the eight of wands and the page the queen of water head over heart balance of head and heart the reflection the transformation from walking away it could have been like you walked away from this person <clears throat> to rebuild rebuilding with this person if this is someone new this is all that you've learned from your past relationship though there is indication here that it's a it's someone you know it's someone you already know let's clarify this hmm And over at my website, guys, I think I'm going to lose the appointment book. It's just not. I've had so many problems with it and people not being able to get um, the PayPal things straightened out. And I've had to send invoices instead, which is a real pain. Um, I just might lose it go back to the way it was before or wait for another brainstorm to um, come up. Maybe just do uh, personal readings three days a week or something. Like Mondays are good. Thursdays are good. Fridays are good. We'll see. Oh, gosh. I'm going to do that again, guys. I'm so sorry. All right. We'll go with that. We've got the wheel of the year, which is also fortune's wheel. Uh, universe is moving that cycle forward. Um, you're at the top. It's, you're going to have some quick movement. Um, it seems like you're in that slow period, that slowest period before it does the 360. Uh, but you're about to come into a major turn of events here. I think this person who is awakening you're going through a transformation um all that you've learned from walking away from energies or a person or a place down here having that happiness that inner joy so we're going to fortune's wheel will be clarified by the queen of pentacles so uh lovely because the queen of pentacles is organized stable secure she's uh not worried about her future she's in her future now even if you're a young person you could be in this energy just thinking about your future saying you know it it's coming together i know where i'm going i know where i'm headed you're talking with the spirit here under the tree of life settled in in where you're going when it comes to your security you know that you won't be hungry coming into that balance universe letting you know that you're coming into that balance king of fire is going to be clarified with the ace of cups this is about falling in love so if it's a new love you're falling in love with them or they're falling in love with you yeah it looks like they're falling in love with you well i'm sure you are too could be a renewal of love through this awakening process it's my cup overfloweth with love and the in this deck you see that the fish jumping i love it when it's in the moon card too when the fish jumps which is about that hidden treasure being exposed the call is going to be clarified with the king of pentacles well well the only thing separating the queen and the king was that cup now we're into the call so this looks like someone you already know it could be a boss they want to give you an opportunity a, a, a job or a, a raise or a promotion but if this is about a, a partner or potential partner they want to make an offer and they are strategizing thinking of all the ways have i got all my ducks in a row if it was the night um he's still strategizing this one's 
done all the strategizing, uh, just waiting for the right moment. He's got most of his ducks in a row. Ace of Air is going to be clarified with this. So this reflection, getting rid of baggage, you know, look, looking back at what you walked away from, um, comes with a gift. A gift of stability and creativity, newness. This is a guardian. So here you are um, jumping into a new project with a lot of gusto and creativity and excitement. And, you know, it's fun. Just having fun with this newness, this brand new whatever this is you're creating whatever it is you're creating is helping to bring in abundance eight of water it's funny how i'm going this way and this way well i kind of like that the standing stone it almost makes me think that you walked away from something that was very stable but it's still there waiting for you that rock is immovable. Ancestors surround you. Spirit is blessing you. It's almost like you just went on an adventure. Perhaps you're the one that's waking up. I think you're both waking up because of the transformation card. If you're walking away and then from something that you were already was all already stable you're coming back to it or you're walking away to come towards this either way this is where you're headed this is what you're being blessed with transformation we're going to clarify that with victory so when you come through this transformation what comes out on the other side is um Thing you are going to be really happy about and it's going to be noticeable not just to you but to everyone around you this is a celebration accolades people who notice your accomplishments what you've come through and uh worthy of celebrating admiring often this is victory over love But this can be victory over this brand new creation of yours. Because we see in this deck, the king and the queen of pentacles that showed up. This is like a, a pairing of stability. Yes, you could be dealing with an earth sign. But the energy is earth energy. It's solid, just like the fire is fire energy. It could be a fire sign, but the fire energy is passion. The earth energy is being stable and grounded. King of air, it's all about communication. Uh, you walked away. You poured out those cups of vinegar. Like These cups are no good. This well here is no good. It doesn't have anything good in it. Pouring them out to make room for the new. You have three cups here of something precious that you already created and as you empty these cups to be refilled with something new this fog is lifting the path is opening and it's fertile so if this is a judge or a lawyer that you're dealing with that's going in your favor it's giving you a brand new lease on things if it's a it, if it's about closing your emotions here you've poured out those emotions that said i need to think with my head here for a minute and doing so or you could yeah you know i think i covered that page of water again page of cups page of chalices there's a fish here i think jumping out of the water no there isn't not in this one 
There's flowers on the rock or on a pillow. How beautiful. Uh, again, psychic abilities, talents being realized, love being offered. This is such a humble card. You know, the, the innocence of the beginning of love. Coming forward in a humble, beautiful way. This is clarifying, moving to those calmer waters. So this is like a, look, we've got the page and the ace, and we've got this fresh newness. Uh, here's more fresh newness for you. Spirit wanting to give you a brand new lease on life that brings stability, wealth, coming into money. So you're tapping into some abilities here. You're healing from the past and beginning something beautifully uh, wonderful. These new talent, there's talents you're discovering. And other people are noticing them. All right, the page is going to be, again, oh my, guys, look. It's the same as these two cards, right? Moving to calmer waters in the Page of Cups. Page of Cups and moving to calmer waters. But in this particular deck, look where you've come from. Look where you're going. You're even saving the horse. So you're not going to venture off on your new and uh, adventure you're you've got help you've got help ah you know what and if it's someone from a distance they're sending you all the good energy you need eight of fire uh this could be a pisces like pisces is all over here a lot of water that cancer we've got the earth signs we've got a little air and a little fire. But now we have the High Priestess. And this is following your, your intuition. Following your intuition when it comes to creativity. Passion. This is beautiful. Some things are still hidden, but it's like, you. who cares? Who cares? I, I know where I'm going. I'm starting something new with a lot of excitement and uh, optimism. Feeling a welling of love in, uh, within. Which, <laughs> yes, we can talk about self-love. But really, can you love anyone else unless you have self-love? So I think, yes, there is a falling in love here with someone. But you're okay with you. Uh, Self-love, it's there. Ten of Cups, you bet. Your joy comes from this new beginning that has none of the negativity from the past. All of that stuff that was in the past weighing you down got cut out. Whatever it is you walked away from, whatever energy or even person or place, these energies have been cut out. You're now solid. Solid as a rock. I'm going to take this over to the extended reason, read, reading and find out more. The cost of an extended reading is $10, guys, but it make, gives you access for a, the month to all the zodiacs and all of the afternoon delight extended readings. And by all means, if it does resonate, Let's personalize it a little more for you. You can ask me under one of those extended readings that resonate for you. Uh, I'll be happy to pull you a card uh, to help bring it into a better focus for yourself. And that's a bonus. That's There's no extra charge for that. So hopefully we'll see you over there, guys. Thank you to all my subscribers. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit, the, hit that uh, like because it does help me a great deal. God bless you all. See you soon. Bye for now.